In Egypt, the government has been debating implementing a new NGO law uh, for some time now. Unfortunately, uh, the current draft, which is before the Shura Council, which is the legislative body in Egypt at the moment, this draft does not protect uh, the independence and freedom of civil society groups. What made what so-called the revolution of the 25th of uh, January possible is the civil society. It wasn't the political opposition. It wasn't the businessmen community. Uh, it was mainly the civil society, I mean by broad term, the civil actors. NGOs must effectively ask permission from the government for the activities that they carry out. One of the key areas is uh, they will have access to our files. Um, they also have access to uh, how organizations organize and can dissolve them at any point in time and uh, make it actually very difficult for us to uh, be able to conduct uh, interviews, fact-finding missions, and in fact do activities that any normal human rights organization or for in fact any watchdog group would be able to. An essential characteristic of civil society is that it must be independent of the government. If the government is able to control the work of civil society organisations, then they are no longer independent and they cannot carry out their necessary function. A concrete example would be torture victims. Um, torture victims' uh, testimony, they would have access to it. And since um, we're talking about uh, monitoring security apparatus, the fact that the security apparatus can uh, go in and check our files, any member of an association can go in and request that file. And once that file is uh, um, being, if the organization withholds it, the security apparatus can go in and take it from the association and hand it out. Um, they also have access to uh, how organizations organize and can dissolve them at any point in time. They have welcomed the pressure that the US government have brought to bear uh, on their Egyptian counterparts and they think that this has had some effect. The pressure the US has put on um, the, uh, the Egyptian government has been very helpful for us because the U.S. backing and standing in collaboration with the NGO efforts on the ground to fight this has been the most effective tool and needs to continue. The only serious political trial which was held after the revolution, it was for the human rights NGOs, not for the Mubarak or the police uh, officers of Mubarak. This is a bellwether of how the U.S. and Egypt will uh, work together, the Egyptian government and the, uh, the U.S. government. And I think they should continue to see this as part of a longer ongoing process. And yes, continue using all tools they have. Moreover, this in particular, this uh, NGO, no, it uh, reflects the deal between the Muslim Brotherhood and a part from the security bodies who share with the Brotherhood the same fears about civil society, about human rights um, NGOs in, uh, in particular, and they are eager to retaliate from the parties, the actors which made such a revolution uh, possible.